I have formed a belief over 38 years that when parties are involved in a dispute and they choose litigation as their path and resolution by a judge or a jury, that in the end the only people who truly win from taking that path are the lawyers. Uh, and I don't mean that as an indictment on the legal profession because I have very high regard for the members of the legal profession, but it has caused me to believe in a different path, uh, and that is uh, that it is always worthwhile to attempt a negotiated resolution uh, as an alternative to court litigation. Uh, I think uh, what probably differentiates me from a lot of mediators is that in a traditional sense I'm not simply a messenger. Uh, I'm an active participant in every discussion uh, in a mediation. I am constantly poking and prodding and asking questions. I'm not directive. I don't have the authority to direct parties in what they're talking about and what they're agreeing to, but um, I'm not afraid to get right in and mix it up in the discussion and make suggestions. And in that sense, um, uh, I think I lend value in the process. Being a labor attorney involves labor negotiations, collective bargaining, and the process of negotiations. And so uh, I was trained in that process from virtually the first day of my law practice all those years ago. Uh, I think also labor relations and employment relations generally uh, place a high emphasis on a negotiated resolution that everybody can live with because in most instances that's exactly what they have to do. They have to get up the next morning and go to work together and they have to live with whatever deal they've made. And so labor and employment relations involves a philosophy that if you win too big you lose. And uh, I think that that fits nicely into the whole notion of a negotiated resolution to any dispute.